Hello everyone! Sometimes the standard ad, such as video, photo, caption, are not enough to trigger your audience. If you do not have a person who will create an ad or you don't know how to do it by yourself, Facebook will help you in that. Leads, you can take it from here. Hello everyone, Leads here. Creating an eye-catching ad can really help in promoting your business. Go to Facebook's Ads Manager and click on the Create Campaign. Choose the desired campaign, whether it's brand awareness, reach, lead generation, whichever suits your goal. We will show you the setup through brand awareness first. After filling and creating the necessary information, add data in new campaign, new ad set, click on new ad. If you're not sure how to create ad campaign before creating a video or a slideshow, make sure to watch your video tutorial how to use Facebook's ads manager and create campaign. Now go to new ad. Then after creating ads name, selecting the page and Instagram account, scroll down to ad setup and choose single image or video or carousel. If you choose add a playable source file, then you will have to select an already prepared video that is not a Facebook video. But if you do not choose any of that or click on add an instant experience, you will be able to create a video or a slideshow right this moment. Click on create slideshow or video. Both can be square or vertical depending on which kind of video you would like to create. Vertical is a good thing if you want to promote your product or service or business. Choose a template. Each template has its own time and image limit. Now when you have done that, customize your scene. Each scene represents a changed moment in your video or one image. To each scene you can add stickers, background, add additional text, again depending on which template you choose. At any time, you can change the image. Also, your images can be cropped. You can choose the placement of the sticker and its size. Stickers can be important if you want your audience, customers to know if you're online, open, or have a discount. Browse through stickers and choose one or don't. If you click on continue button, Facebook will show you how this looks like in vertical and square versions. In some video templates, you have the option to use your logo and place it on your image. Some scenes allow you to place text. At any time, you can go back to place your slideshow and get it ready for the ad. Now let's see how video works. Pretty much similar as the slideshow, but with some interesting effects too. At each video template, you can add your logo, so make sure that you have one prepared. Choose the video template, and now go through scenes. Your scenes can be customized by image, text, font, position, text color, and background color. Make sure that your video is not overloaded with information. If that happens, your audience will not be able to receive the right message. At the very end, click on Use Video button. Now your video is ready to be advertised. These options are available in almost every campaign you choose, except when you choose engagement, creating a post, for example. But if you want your ad to be attractive, Make sure that you know your product and know your audience. Carousel. If you decide to go with this kind of ad, select two or more images. For each visual you upload, you can write the headline, description, add website URL. When you're editing the placement, you can decide to automatically show the best performing card first. Sometimes it's a good thing when all of your cards are important to you. But if you already know which one is the leading one and most important, be sure to put that one first and check the box. At the end, 
you can always add a card with your page profile picture. We are assuming that it's your logo. If your cards or visuals do not have your logo on it, maybe it's good to have one at the end. You can add URL to your carousel and call to action button. This button will be applied to each one of the card's visuals. At any time, you can use your business profile pixel or add URL perimeters. You can track those events. Again, at the end, click the publish button when it's all set up. On the right hand side, you can see at any moment how your ad will look like. Well, that's all for me in this video tutorial. See you in the next one. Thank you, Leeds. You've been very helpful.